back. It is now time for Ask the Expert. The weather is beginning to get warmer and more of us are finding ourselves outside. And while we're outside, you should also think about protecting wildlife. Yeah, joining us live this afternoon, Mara McFarland with the Wisconsin Humane Society. And before we get to the topic, got this adorable little guy with you. What is this yes, guy's name? This is Dash. Uh, he's 11 months old. Tired. He's yeah, he's <laughs> neutered, microchip vaccinated, all ready for adoption at our Milwaukee campus today at 5 p.m. Just a giant love bug, loves to be cuddled and, and, and loves pet. people. Yes, and loves to explore as well. So. so what are some of the ways that families can protect wildlife that they see? Right, yeah, there are some really simple approaches. Um, cleaning up trash, uh, reduce, reuse, recycle, right? Mm -hmm. um, also saving um, energy and uh, planting native plants, uh, flowers, trees, things like that. So here at home, maybe some people live near the edges of wildlife. How do you, you know, protect the wildlife, the Wisconsin's own special animals that are around here? Right, so one of the ways is um, you can cap your chimney. Oftentimes smaller animals um, like raccoons will build a den in it. Um, so yeah, so it's an easy way um, to help save lives of small animals and also prevent and costly expert removal too, so. Dash is keeping an eye on the floor director. Yes, but again, Dash is available when you get back at five o'clock? He is available, yes, today at 5 p.m. All right. Um, yeah. Thanks for being with us. Thank we you. We appreciate it.